We're here at Brands Hatch, one of the UK's most iconic racing circuits, and we're going to take you behind the scenes and talk to the teams as they prepare for the three races that will be contested today. Next, let's take a look at one of my favourite things. Oh yes, high fashion jewellery. Back in 1982, a young jewellery designer established the business that has since grown to become the luxury brand that is Theo Fennell. What's been the inspiration between the theatre and drama of these pieces? Jewellery can be all things. It can be incredibly theatrical, but it can also be terribly, terribly simple. The drama is a good thing. I love the idea of the theatre of it. I love the idea of, of, of jewellery having a, a, a sort of moment of, it, of its own. I guess I first started jewellery just after I left art school. I, I got a job quite by chance with some people called Edward Barnards and Hatton Garden. They were fantastic old-fashioned firm of silversmiths, all the old techniques and craftsmen. And after about two weeks I was sent into the workshop, which I hadn't seen up to that stage, and I just fell in love with the whole process. And it was kind of like coming home. It was a fantastic moment. Next, let's take a trip over to La Cucina Caldesi for a taste of Italy. We used to teach our customers how to make pasta at a weekend. The demand grew and grew for different courses. We began to start teaching people how to make bread, how to make sauces, and then it gathered and gathered until we realised we had to open a school dedicated to the cookery courses, and that's how we opened Cucina Caldesi. Three years ago, we ran our first cookery course in Tuscany, and we were filmed for a BBC series called Return to Tuscany, and that focused on our trials and tribulations of opening our cookery school and the guests that visited us and how we taught them to cook over a period of a week. Have a wonderful time cooking, eating, drinking. What else? 